Is A Christmas Carol my favorite movie of all time? No, of course not. It's a holiday movie, and best enjoyed as such. I've always enjoyed the fall into winter. When you're a kid, it's the trifecta of holidays. First there's Halloween, then Thanksgiving, then the big one, Christmas. New Year's Eve? That's a parting gift. When we were young, we didn't always get what we wanted, but we never wanted for anything. There was always plenty of food. We were always well-dressed. And come Christmas, there were plenty of toys under the tree. Our nanny, who raised 11 kids in Depression Era Island, said we were spoiled. Maybe we were. We weren't rich. We weren't even middle class but we never knew it. Our parents and everyone we knew were immigrants and we were first generation. But our parents weren't about looking back. It was always about looking forward. And the sooner we assimilated into American culture, the better off we'd all be. And it wasn't hard. It was everywhere. And it was booming. And it was good. And then everything changed. For us anyway, for the first and only time that we can remember, Dad was out of work. And suddenly, we went from a garden community in Bay Terrace to a five-story walk up in the Bronx. All eight of us. We lived on pot pies and English muffins mostly. And cereal. But on shopping day, there'd be plenty of donuts and pie. And now, we were dressed by Robert Hall. Six boys, you do the math. But Dad taught us how to make it look good. Get the tie right and shine those shoes. Our parents had always kept Christmas well. There was always a tree and Nat King Cole singing in the background. But that Christmas, we all knew they felt bad. But no one said anything. But then out of nowhere, my younger brother Danny turned and said, It's okay, Mom. And you know what? He was right. It was okay. And of course, our old friend, the Million Dollar Movie, would play A Christmas Carol on Christmas Eve. I'm talking about the Alistair Sim version. But it wasn't the kind of movie that you would check off in the TV guide and call all your friends about. Hey, guess what's on the Million Dollar Movie this week? No, it was always just part of the background. That's how I came to think of it anyway. When we were kids, our parents would take time out from all the gift unwrappings and talk about the true meaning of Christmas. Yeah, 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 we always heard it again and again. But that Christmas, in that dark and dreary apartment, that movie struck home. That night, that movie, that taught me the true meaning of Christmas. Be grateful for all you have in life, no matter how much or how little. It sounds simple, I know, but for some of us, that doesn't come easy. It didn't come easy for old Ebenezer Scrooge, and like him, I too have my ghosts. But the day after Christmas, that's a new day. I'll see you around the campus.